Ray Tracing and Variable Rate Shading Design Goals for AMD ReNet 2 Hardware Accelerated Rate Tracing and Variable Rate Shading will be the design focal points for AMD's next-generation ReNet 2 graphics architecture. Microsoft's reveal of its Xbox Series X console attributed both features to AMD's next-generation RDNA architecture, which logically happens to be ReNet 2. The Xbox Series X uses a semi-custom sock that features CPU cores based on the Zen 2 inches microarchitecture and a GPU based on Ernet 2. It's highly likely that the sock could be fabricated on TSMC's 7 nanometers you've node, as the Ernet 2 graphics architecture is optimized for that. This would mean an optical shrink of Zen 2 inches to 7 nanometers you've. Besides the sock that powers Xbox Series X, AMD is expected to leverage 7 nanometers U for its Ernet 2 discrete GPUs and CPU chiplets based on its Zen 3 inches microarchitecture in 2020. Variable Rate Shading VRS, is an API-level feature that lets GPUs conserve resources by shading certain areas of a scene at a lower rate than the other, without perceptible difference to the viewer. Microsoft developed two tiers of VRS for its DirectX 12 API. Tier 1 is currently supported by NVIDIA Turing and Intel Gen 11 architectures, while Tier 2 is supported by Turing. The current hard DNA architecture doesn't support either tiers. Hardware Accelerated Rate Tracing is the cornerstone of NVIDIA's Turing RTX 20 series graphics cards, and AMD is catching up to it. Microsoft already standardized it on the software side with the DXR, DirectX Rate Tracing, API. A combination of VRS and dynamic render resolution will be crucial for next-gen consoles to achieve playability at 4K, and to even boast of being 8K capable.